Example number four. Mr. Derbyshire make a business trip from his house to Loganville in two hours. One hour later, he returned home in traffic at a rate of 20 miles less than his rate going. If Mr. Derbyshire is gone a total of six hours, how fast did he travel on each leg of the trip? Okay, so first we need to visualize the movement of Derbyshire. Okay, so Derbyshire travel, make a business trip from his house going to Loganville. So if this is Derbyshire, He travels for a business trip to Loganville. When he arrives at Loganville, two hours later, in two hours, uh, one hour later, he returns home. So from Loganville, going to home. So in traffic at a rate of 20 miles, less than the rate, his rate going. So therefore, we can say that our the rate here is unknown. Okay, so we have a rate here then, less minus, it means that our x minus what is going, which is his previous rate. So we can write here x minus 20. So we let x be our rate of change of Mr. Derbyshire. Uh, let's use our uh, TRD box to formulate our equation. Okay. So, so formula equation, we have the data when his Derbyshire is going to Loganville and the other one is going home. Okay, so let's go back to the statement. Uh, Derbyshire makes business trip to Loganville in two hours. So what is our time here? So from home to Loganville, it took him two hours. Okay. One hour later, he returns. Returns home in traffic at a rate of 20 miles per hour. Therefore, he stay at Loganville for two hours. And when he returns, one hour later. So the total time here is already three hours. He's already consumed two hours. Plus one hour later going to home. That is three hours. Okay. So how about for our rate? Again. So, our rate, we assume that our x is our rate of Mr. Derbyshire. So, we let x be the rate of Derbyshire going and going back. So, going, it's still unknown. And when he returns back, 20 miles per hour less. So that is equal to minus than his rate going. So the equation is clear. So in Tagalog, mas mahina siya ng 20 miles per hour. Okay? So if we write our equation, that is x minus 20. Now let's apply our formula times rate times distance. So this is 2x. So this is 3 times the quantity of x minus 2. Ah, uh, 20. 3 times the quantity x minus 20. Okay. Uh, also, based on the statement, uh, if Mr. Derbyshire is gone a total of 6 hours, how fast? How fast did he travel on each leg? So, so our distance here. How fast did he travel? So, this is our d1 and this is our d2. Uh, this is also our r1. And this is also our R2. At that time, the total time here, the total time is 6 hours. Okay, so we need to write our equation now. The distance to Longwoodville equals to the distance back home. So the distance going Fogonsil does not change. Therefore, we can say that our D1 is equal to D2. Yes. 
Okay, so let's set up our equation from the data of our distance 1. So our distance 1 is 2x and our distance 2 is 3 times the quantity of x minus 20. Okay, so solving for our unknown which is x. So this will become 3x minus 60. So we transpose. We transpose our 2x to the other side. That will become x. We transpose negative 60. This will become 60. Therefore, our x is equal to 60. What is the unit of our x here? This is mph. So this is mile per hour. So how fast did it travel on each leg? Okay, so we can determine. So our x is 60. How about that is going to Loganville. Okay. That is going to Loganville. So that is the rate going to Loganville. How about for our going home? So our going home, that is uh, x minus 20. So the what is the value of our x? That is 60 minus 20. Therefore, our x minus 20 is equal to 40 miles per hour. So, our rate to going home is 40 miles per hour. Okay? So, to check if our answer is correct, let's substitute back uh, our answer to our equation. Our equation is here. Our x is 60. So, the same 60, that is 120. And here x is 60 minus 20, that is 40, 40 times 3, that is 120. So we can say our answer is correct. Moving on to our next example.